Hello, hello, my lovelies. Today we're going to be talking about all the controversies surrounding the new Little Mermaid movie and what my opinions are on this. Quite frankly, I feel like this whole backlash makes zero sense. So, without any further ado, grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's jump into it. Roll the intro. Welcome back. Now, if you don't know what's going on, well, the new trailer for The Little Mermaid live action from Disney came out, and it has sparked a lot of controversy. And there are some people that are saying that Ariel shouldn't be black, that they should not have hired this actress whose name is Halle, ba ha Halle Bailey, and there's a lot of reasons why people are giving this thing. And I'm going to debunk quite a few of these because I feel like this controversy is just so ridiculous and dumb. And there's one thing that people are just not talking about, and I will jump into that in a little bit. But right now, I'm going to talk about some of the reasons why people think that Ariel just shouldn't be played by this wonderful actress. The first one that people have is saying that, well, Ariel shouldn't be black because the person and the place that the tale originated was by Hans Christian Andersen, who was of Danish descent. And... To those people, first off, Hans Christian Andersen wrote The Little Mermaid. It's really implied that Hans Christian Andersen was a gay man who wrote The Little Mermaid as an allegory for his pining or swooning after a married man who rejected his advances. People are saying, uh, this goes right into my other point, that the fact that she is black in this remake goes against the original story itself, which, obviously, y'all haven't read the actual original tale, where I have been a huge fan of fairy tales my entire life. It's been a hyperfixation of mine. All kinds of mythology, all kinds of fairy tales. Y'all obviously have not read the original tale and are just relying on the Disney version to be your original tale. Because in the original tale, not only does Ariel have no description of what she should look like, she doesn't. The mermaid has no description of what she looks like. Secondly, you guys must be super pissed about all the changes that Disney made with the original film in 1989 and are pissed that they're doing this even further with this new one. I'm assuming because in the original tale, Ariel's legs coming apart is just her tail coming apart. And it's explained very gruesomely. And then even when she has feet, it's as if a thousand needles are poking into her feet. It's very painful the entire time that the Little Mermaid is on land. So, and then thirdly, um, the original tale of Little Mermaid does not end well. The original tale does not end well at all. There is no happily ever after. The prince rejects the mermaid, and then she dies and becomes sea foam at the end. So if you guys are going to be mad about the original tale changing, and then neglecting to re actually list these things from the original tale, which I have read, it's actually one of my favorites, and is, so is the Disney movie. Uh, so uh, you guys must be uh, mad about the original Disney movie, too. I'm, I'm, I'm just generally assuming because if you mean the Disney version, the Disney version is completely different than the original tale itself, too. Then there's some people trying to use the defense that mermaids in history were not black when obviously y'all haven't done your research and have only looked at, like, Renaissance paintings in England or other European countries. Because some of the oldest depictions that we have of a, of a mermaid-like creature actually descends from a lot of African countries black people. Now we're going to talk about the one thing that nobody else I think is mentioning, but that is the casting of Melissa McCarthy as Ursula. Now, if you don't know anything about the original production of the animated film of The Little Mermaid, they were strongly and very, very inspired by a drag queen known as Divine. And I don't think Melissa McCarthy has ever done drag, I've not seen it, as far as I'm aware. She hasn't. And I'm not saying that I don't love her. 
I, I, I like Melissa McCarthy. I love her acting. I think she's funny sometimes. I've, I've liked quite a few films that she's in. The one that she did with um, Sandra Bullock, I think it's called Hot Pursuit. I thought that was great. I'm not hating on her specifically, but I would have liked Disney to hire an actual drag queen to continue Divine's legacy and and all of that. Like... Divine left behind such a great legacy and inspiring a Disney villain, which doesn't exactly have the best of implications for any drag queen or people in the LGBTQ community. But when that happened, it was kind of a huge thing um, that they inspired a character off of a drag queen. So I would have really, really liked them, liked them to have added a drag queen because... I'm pretty sure that they've hired drag queens for the new, um, I think it was Pinocchio or something. They hired a drag queen recently. It was in the news. They hired a drag queen for one of their live action remakes. So they're in the habit of hiring people like that. Why wouldn't they have hired a drag queen to play Ursula? That would have been awesome. That's the one thing I'm kind of upset about is that they didn't hire a drag queen to continue Divine's legacy. I don't know. Then I kind of don't see her as Ursula. I remember when people were talking about Queen Latifah possibly playing Ursula, and I'm like, she just doesn't look like Ursula to me. I mean, would have been great. I would have liked either one, but it just would have been nice to see a to see a drag queen play the role that was strongly inspired by a drag queen, and. When I say strongly, I'm going to be putting them up side by side. This is how strongly they inspired the design for Ursula. Mannerisms and everything. That's how far deep they went in with this character. So yeah. Moving on. My next point is that Halle Bailey can sing. That is the only thing that I worried about with the casting of Ariel. And this is coming from someone whose favorite Disney princess is Ariel. My favorite Disney princess is Ariel. I broke two VHS tapes in my childhood because I watched this movie so much. I have glass collector dolls of Ariel. I have two. One's in my closet, one's up there. I am a huge, huge fan of Ariel. I identified a lot with her as a child. And... I've still loved Ariel all through all this stuff that's going on with Disney. And the only worry that I had as, like, a Little Mermaid huge fan, I've looked into the history and everything, as someone who loves this movie with all her heart, I was only concerned if the actress that they got to play the live-action Ariel was, can she sing? She better be able to sing, because I've seen what they did to Belle. And I'm not saying I hate Emma Watson. I'm also a huge Harry Potter nerd, and I've mentioned this multiple times on my channel. I am a huge, huge Harry Potter fan. I love Emma Watson. I've loved her in a lot of things since Harry Potter. But I, I'm still questioning why they cast her as Belle. I said it. I don't know why they cast her as Belle. She was great with the speaking roles, but I feel like they should have gotten someone with a better singing voice. That's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. And I was nervous when I heard that they were casting for The Little Mermaid because of Beauty and the Beast. Hallie can sing. This girl can sing. I had goosebumps watching the trailer. I had absolute goosebumps. Now, not only that, it has... Her, what Ariel looks like has no impact on who, who she is inside or anything having to do with her story. Ariel is literally the child of a demigod. Her dad is Triton. That means Ariel is related to the Greek pantheon of gods because Triton is the son of Poseidon. Ariel is literally a demigod. Like, that has no basis in history. That has no basis in anything. That has nothing to do with who she is, where she's from. Her appearance has nothing to do with that. Now look at Tiana from Princess and the Frog. 
part of Tiana's whole character is being black. Part of her whole her whole character is being black, where she's being told that people of her background shouldn't be owning restaurants. Her being a black woman is so closely tied to her story, where if you changed Tiana to a white person, I would still have an issue. I would still have an issue. Because that matters to Tiana, where Ariel being white, black, brown, nothing. She's a mermaid. She's a fictional character in a kid's movie. And I feel like a lot of people are losing sight of this, is who is this movie going to be for? Children. And I have seen nothing but little kids being so excited to see a black Ariel. I have been seeing nothing but reactions from not only black kids saying, oh my gosh, there's someone that looks like me, that's a mermaid that looks like me, to even white children, Hispanic children, indigenous children, all ethnicities of children are excited about this new Ariel. That's who we should be asking the opinions of is these kids. Because I've only seen nothing but adults complaining about Ariel being black. That and angsty little 13-year-olds that think that they need to hate on something because it's cool. Guys, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. Trust me. It's not. Look at Twilight. There, there are some literary problems wrong with Twilight. But the backlash that people got just because, oh, kids like this, let's give it hate. It's just why. It just seems like a lot of people are just mad for no reason because it's not the Disney that they know. Well, Disney has been fucking changing for years. Where have you been through all these remakes? Where have you been? <laughs> Where have you been? Nothing can stay the same. And I hate to say that because, you know, The Little Mermaid was my whole childhood. She, Ariel is still my favorite princess to this day in my 20s. Like, and I don't like it when they change a few things either, but I really don't see the reason why Ariel can't be black. She's a mythological creature. The kids seem to like it. The original actress, Jodie Benson, Ariel herself, the Ariel you guys want, the guys you, the one that we all had, Ariel herself, Jodie Benson, says that Hallie is going to smash the role and that she approves of her singing, which Jodie Benson is a legend. She is, has been on Broadway. Jodie Benson, having the approval of Jodie Benson to me, and plus she was Ariel. I really don't think that she would approve of someone that couldn't that she didn't feel would be good enough for the role. Like maybe it would be out of her control, yes, but I haven't seen her say shit about Hallie besides saying that she believes Hallie is going to be incredible. And I feel like the kids like it. Jody thinks it's good. Um she's a mythological creature. Nothing about her story is tied to her being white. Where Tiana is trying to change the societal norms of, you know, fighting her timely circumstances. The same thing with Merida. Merida is a Scottish princess trying to change the Scottish norms. Where Tiana is a black woman in the 1920s trying to make it work for her, regardless of her skin. Where Merida is trying to change it no matter her gender. So if you change Merida to a guy, that wouldn't exactly make sense for the movie, now would it? Where Ariel is not defined by those two things. Ariel is not defined by that. Whether it be your sex or your color, if something matters to your character and you change something vital to make that not make sense anymore, then that's a horrible change to make. Where Ariel is not defined by that. Her being black has nothing to do with her wanting adventure, with her wanting to go to the surface, her wanting to fall in love with Prince Eric, to be a human. I don't feel like any of that's defined by a skin color. 
The only thing that really mattered was can the person that plays Ariel can sing? Because a whole part of Ariel's character is her incredible singing voice. She has a magical singing voice. Therefore, the actress you hire has to have an equally magical singing voice. Because that's vital to the character. That is something that if you made her mute, how would she be able to sing? See what I mean? And this is because I've written characters. I've been writing my own stories for multiple years. Like, that's part of making a character. Like, if you made Ariel not be able to speak through the whole thing, then that wouldn't make sense because a vital part of the story is Ariel's singing voice. So, it doesn't make sense to me why so many people are mad. It just, it really doesn't. So, that's what I got for you guys today. What are your thoughts about this whole thing? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you feel like it, please don't be afraid to hit the like and the subscribe button. It helps out my channel. And plus, if you do subscribe, I promise you there's going to be a lot of Halloween content this, so this season. I like to make a little bit of Halloween content on my channel every year because it's my favorite holiday. And I like getting into the season of fall. So you're going to be seeing some Halloween type content, stuff about haunted places, Halloween meme reviews, which I'm going to be making very soon. Um, just... There's a lot of content. I don't just talk about, you know, this kind of stuff. I also talk about books, movies, TV shows, anime, anything that I find interesting, it goes on the channel. So if you stick around, I'm sure you'll find something you like. So that's what I got for you guys. I love you all so, so much, and I hope you have the best day. Bye.